disgusted. Uh, again, this is San Diego. We are an inclusive community. This is not consistent with the values that we share here. New this morning, Councilman Chris Ward joining the LGBT community today, standing against a controversial religious conference coming to San Diego this weekend. 10 News reporter Amanda Brandeis has been learning more about why it has people so upset. The conference will be held at this church behind me, City View SD, by a group called Restore Hope Network. They say their mission is to help people overcome sinful sexual desires like being homosexual. Online, the group says the weekend will include biblical teaching, workshops, and stories from people who've struggled with sexual attraction and were transformed. But people in San Diego are angry this is happening in their city. Political and religious leaders will join the LGBT community, speaking out against a practice which they believe is abusive, traumatic, and ineffective. I talked to one local pastor who says he's a survivor of gay conversion therapy. After years of therapy, from learning how to stuff my feelings and my emotions and the damage that this did to my psyche and my self-esteem, I uh, was able to finally realize God loved me exactly for who I was, and I was not a mistake, but I was God's miracle. I reached out to Restore Hope Network, the group putting on this conference. They were not available to talk. Amanda Brandeis, 10 News. Version therapy is actually illegal here in California, and council member Chris Ward thinks the group will only hold a conference and not actually perform any type of therapy. There will also be another event opposing the Restore Hope Network conference. That will be at St. Paul's Episcopal Cathedral on 6th Avenue at 5 o'clock. The idea of conversion therapy has people fired up on Facebook, and if you want to sound off, I've posted this story on my 10 News Facebook page.